Hi, I'm Josh Kurtz, and I'm the lead world builder on Stargate Worlds. I was working at a, another studio here in Phoenix, and I had a friend who had worked with at Blizzard Entertainment on Worlds of Warcraft. His name's Stu Rose, and I was talking to him, and he said, "Hey, why don't we go have lunch?" And uh, we went and had lunch, and while we're sitting there eating, you know, we finish up, and he's all, "Hey, why don't you come by the studio and talk to some of these other guys?" And I came by the studio, and about a week later, he called me back and said, "Hey, why don't you come down and talk to some more guys?" And and uh, just kind of snowballed into this big thing, and I ended up working here. Well, let's see, I uh, met him in. 99 or 2000, I'm not sure exactly when, uh, at Blizzard. We were working at QA together, we were both temporary employees. We both got hired on to work on WoW as level designers or world builders. Basically, I, I manage the team that builds the environments. And uh, I make sure they have everything they need, I make sure they have all the training they need, I, I sit down, give them pointers and suggestions and, and thoughts, and make sure that everybody's kind of in a consistent level of artwork and design. Make sure the tools work, make sure the tools are designed in a way that gets us what we need and, and they work in a way that we want them to. In general, I pretty much I pretty much act to facilitate the world building team's needs to go forward and build the worlds as, uh, as they need to. Uh, and that includes everything from scheduling to process to everything else. So. Given we're working on a science fiction game, the ability to do crazy things is, is kind of at the tips of our fingers. You know, we can make a, a floating city in the middle of space. We can, you know, we can make thousand foot tall waterfalls that cascade through ruins and into a jungle. Um, you know, these kind of things are things we can do. Most of the time in the meetings that we have where we talk about, you know, what we're doing in the worlds or whatever, I think Josh always comes in with a perspective that's clearly cultured. He's, he's, he knows what he's talking about. You know, he builds on things and he works with what Obviously, I'm content. He works with, you know, what we're trying to go for. He tries to facilitate that and expand on it. And, I mean, I don't really think you can ask for more. My favorite part of world building is to build these spaces and see other people play through these spaces and see these people play through and go, wow, that's cool. You know, to be sitting there in the back of the room like a fly on the wall and watch somebody running through space and then say, that's really cool, I really like the way that lights up, I really like the way that this space draws you even further, or, you know, whatever they have to say, but they get excited about it. It really makes me excited about it, especially if I worked on it. And that ties into the hardest part of this, which is looking at all of these really cool spaces that, uh, that everyone else gets to work on and, and going, oh, oh my goodness, <laughs> I wanted to build that. But, you know, it's, it's, it, there's actually a lot of good feeling and pride when one of my people makes something and somebody else goes, that's really awesome. And I can say, wow, that's cool. Back at Blizzard, we used to do little powwows around each other's desks. And we all had uh, Wacom tablets, which are the tablets yeah. that with the pen you can draw on it and whatnot. And that's how we, we did all our work. So when Josh wasn't looking one day, I went over and took my pen and added it to his tablet, hit OK. And then the next time we had a powwow around his desk, I just happened to have my pen and in my hand. And Josh used to keep his tablet off to the side when he wasn't using it. He'd push it way off to the side of his desk. So we were all around his desk, and I bent over, and I put my hand on the tablet with the pen just off to the side. And he's trying to show us stuff on the screen, and so he lost control of the pen. It went crazy on the screen. He didn't know what was going on. And then, it, then like, I'd move it off, and it would come back. You know, and he didn't know what was going on. He was about to reboot when I finally had to stop him, because that would have, like, yeah, he didn't appreciate that. I've, and I've gotten a couple people here with that, too, so far. Every day is exciting. And you come in and you're not dragging your feet. You wake up in the morning and you go, I get to get to work today. And uh, you get to work on a project that's really cool. And you know, you come into these meetings and you go through your meetings that you have and discussing, oh, what are we going to do for this design problem? What are we going to do for that design problem? And you come out of them and you're even more excited than you were going in. I think the thing is, is that, you know, it's collaborative art. And uh, there's really, like with Josh, there's distinctively collaborative in, in you know, feeling. I actually have a, a fairly large team. Um, for for a design team, uh, my team is five five or six people now, and I'm still adding a couple. 
And uh, everybody on my team has strengths and weaknesses in different areas. And that's actually intentional. I've been intentionally hiring people to my team and adding people to my team that fill areas where maybe we're a little light or maybe a little weak, making sure that in other areas we're stronger. He brings his ideas, he lays them in there, but he also works, you know, uh, he works trying to get, you know, sort of everyone's ideas facilitated, which is great. Yeah, you know, and he calls out lousy ones. <laughs> lousy ideas. I think what I like about it as a Stargate fan myself is it really does capture kind of the feel of Stargate. Uh, you play some of these games that are based on a movie or based on a book or based on a cartoon or based on whatever, and it doesn't have this, it doesn't have the same emotional feel that the, the show does or the book does or the movie does. And uh, I think with this Stargate game, we've really kind of nailed that, that emotional feel. And so not only does it look like it, but it actually feels like it. You jump in there and you're like, hey, I'm going through the gate. That's cool. We've finished pre-production, we're moving forward, and we're actually constructing worlds. We're actually building the worlds that people will play when they buy the box off the shelf, take it home, install it, create an account, and jump in. We are creating the spaces that people will, will, will play through. We're creating the spaces that people will kill monsters in and, and fight for the freedom of the galaxy in. And, and these spaces are actually coming online. And I'm really excited to see what gets created on a day-to-day -day and a week-to-week -week basis. And you know, I'm excited to fire up my build in the morning and look at the work that was done the previous week and the previous day and, uh, and go through there and say, wow, that's really, really interesting. So I think that's what I look forward to most over the next year, is actually getting more people in these spaces, getting their feedback, and uh, just seeing more of these spaces come up.